mixing him in and this will just ensure that my hook you know I mean I ain't gonna preach about the benefits of the stick it's been written about and spoke about so many times now yeah. all, I'm, all I want this to do you know basically I'm gonna make a nice stick loads of attraction in this I'm gonna boost it with some of the meat marine liquid yeah. it's got high levels of, you know a lot in its makeup of liquid liver as we know a fantastic attractor something you just can't overdo I'll be using quite a bit of this in here I want a strong food signal yeah. these fish are coming through they're big fish as we know with the heat they spawned in the last week yeah. and they're still very big fish out there um, but I want them to be attracted I want aggressively if you like people have used that word a lot um, I want to aggressively pull them down to the other bait you know I don't yeah. want them passing it by um, so I'll be using a bit more liquid but basically I'll add the liquid I'm very liberal with it. Again, like I said, it's not something you can overdo. I'm a big fan of it. That's, that doesn't break the PVA down then, I don't know. No, 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 it won't, it won't affect the PVA. There's no water, no water in that at all. So as you can see now, that's already darkening up nice. Looking much more like the part. Now obviously that still holds together very mushy. Yeah. That's nice. I want something to force it apart. Normally I'd use a pellet, as pellet soaks in water will help push the mix apart. But we haven't got that. What we've got instead, I've got some hemp. So I mix a handful of that in. So that's pretty much we mix. It's quite stodgy. I could spod that as well as use it in my stick. Always need a nice firm base. You like to compress it quite tight then? I do, yeah. I mean, this isn't so critical here, you know. It's, um, in England, the compression and everything else has got a lot to do with the way it melts down around the hook clink. Yeah. You know, presentations, everything. Yeah. Here, like I said, you know, oh, it's hot. It These hot, fish are coming through. Um, that's still nice. It's quite a dense mix, this. Yeah. It's actually turned out to be a little bit pasty, if you like, but I haven't got a problem with that. In shallow, very warm water, this will break down very quickly once on the bottom. Your classic little stick. That's nice, isn't it? Really tidy. Long bait and needle. Feed it through, always away from the knots. Yeah. Even in warm water, the knots too tend to grab, causing clogging of the PVA. Put it down onto the hook link like that. Ease the hook into the ends. Obviously, yeah. the hook's completely protected. There's yeah. a little bit of bottom debris out there. Not a lot. Very, like I said, it's quite a clean shelf on the island margin. But there it's is nice some, to have that security. Yeah, it's, well. it's security exactly. You know, if it's a fish, if it, you know, like I said, I'm fishing here possibly for a 70 pounder. Yeah. Um, the last thing I want it to come and do is to come in with a few fish either side of it, try to pick the up bait up, get fouled by a little bit of bottom weed, a little bit of silt weed or something, drop it and go to the next thing, and a, and a fish whips in and picks it up in its place. So I want everything perfect. Yeah. That gives a nice bit of casting weight. On the end, I just mount single 15 mil boilie. I quite like using sticks like that as well when you are fishing tight to an island because if you if you clip them leaves on the way in yeah, exactly. you just you're not paranoid are you that no, you've no, no. caught anything you just think well yeah you're right yeah well normally yeah it has a habit of whipping the up bait off doesn't yeah. it you know and this you, you know if, if the lead hits the bottom that there's no way you've grabbed a leaf it's perfect there you go simplicity itself <laughs> all ready to mount onto the rig that I'm using favourite IS rods, 15 pound TFG line straight through to a TFG clear leader. Yeah. This is a little green tint and a bit of silk weed on the bottom. I've, I've coloured that slightly with, with one of the pens to disguise it slightly. Um, like I said, these are hard fish for carp and they are really big carp. So although you may think, well, uh, you know, you don't need to be that fussy about camouflaging your end tackle, I'd rather not take the risk. So there you go, all ready to cast out. Nice one. Simple, easy. And I'm sure that'll get me a bite tonight.
just not fighting very much. Um, quite a coy earlier, mind you, that did similar. Well, it wasn't a real big fast first run, but I thought they only suddenly woken up. Another grouse carp. Well, the grouse carp has suddenly come on the feed. I that can happen. Oh! <laughs> Lost it. Look at it. <laughs> 30 pound grass carp. Just uh, get it on the mat and do, you can do a little bit of film because it's a big one. It is a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. <laughs> oh, it's 40 pounds. <laughs> Getting on for it. Mate, that is big. Oh. <laughs> it's a big old grass carp. Hey, Si! 42 and a half! Just have to find Nick. I think he's going to wear this hat. Prepared a 42 pounder. It's a serpent. It was absolutely massive. This is officially yours, your 42 pounder. Well done, mate. I'll wear it with a uh, shame. I'll wear it like that so no one can see it's me. <laughs> <laughs>